Welcome to the heart of Sooner Nation, Gaylord Family Oklahoma Memorial Stadium. And if you aren't familiar with the saying, Boomer, Sooner, you will be soon enough. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Nebraska Cornhuskers, taking on the fourth-ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma Sooners. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Sooners will kick it off to get us underway. Here he comes from inside his own five. He gets a block. This guy makes you hold your breath when he gets the football in his hands and that last line of the coverage team, the only thing that stopped him from housing it. So Nebraska's offense will get the first crack at it here. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you've got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. Looking for room. It's Maldonado. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The Huskers send out the punt unit. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock him up close to their goal line. Gets it away, good distance, but more importantly, just the direction he wanted. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They're backed up, first and ten from inside their own five, and they'll try to get this drive started. The give on the inside. That's a way to get some breathing room. He's got five out to the nine-yard line. The Sooners come to the line in the hurry-up. SEC versus the Big Ten. They compete at everything. They try to outspend each other, and they certainly want to beat each other on the field. So many national championships, so many Heisman Trophy winners shared between these two conferences, David. Everybody gets excited when the Big Ten takes on the SEC. And these games matter so much. The fans get so amped up, so juiced up, to the point where we hear in the stands what? SEC. SEC. They wouldn't say that if conference pride wasn't a real thing. Man, he's able to stress defenses with his ability running the football, too. And I know what you're thinking out there. Yeah, Jalen Hurts and Kyler Murray and these recent Oklahoma quarterbacks. What a snag by the defense. Just a short return, but that would have been icing on the cake. They've got it first down at the 42. Not the start this kid was looking for. Very first pass of the day gets picked off. This is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks on the back end, and he's got to be real careful with his eyes, not telegraph throws like he did right there. He's going to have to settle in. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Hand off to the single back. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Gets it out fast. Excellent job working through the air. They're finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And the Huskers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. 
Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. Offense took a little bit too much time at the line there. Here comes the offense on first down. To the ground with the back. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Line getting set on second down. Takes the handoff. It's Maldonado. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before he makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. The Cornhuskers are on the move. They move the tight end all over. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing it at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And they take another look at the play with the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Air Force just wrapped up four quarters worth of dominance on its way to a never-in-doubt victory. And that's really the standard there in Colorado Springs. They'll enjoy this one all week. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. They go to the draw. Jukes his way for more. Just a savvy veteran productive run from this junior. The Sooners want to crank the tempo. A great Oklahoma running attack will bring a tear to the Boomer Sooner Nation eye thinking of guys like Billy Sims. And where it all started was always the ground game and the toughness. And never question that. In Oklahoma, they got to get to that. They got to be that. They got to live that. But they really want to build on what they used to be and bring that tradition and build some of that tradition in the SEC. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. And he needed one yard, and he didn't get it. The defense won the battle up front. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Cover guys do their job, and they get him stopped at the 22-yard line. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Leaves it with the back. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. After picking up a couple at second and eight. The give from the gun. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Grab behind the line. It's Maldonado. Just couldn't find any room, and he wound up throwing it in reverse. They lost yardage. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. First down for this offense. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Off play action. He's going for the big play. Snatches it on the right. Got a lot of running room. Touchdown Sooner. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Yeah, 
coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top 10 offense in scoring. So they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are backbreakers. Defenses just can't contain this offense. Lining up for the PAT. And it's perfect. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. He'll start the return inside his five. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. They almost got a first down there. Stop the yard short. It'll be third down. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. The Huskers will have it first and 10. Looking for space, it's Maldonado. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. He's looking to throw. He's right on target. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Firing to the right, complete. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. And the Huskers have their offense in high gear. They'll put the tight end in motion. The give out of the gun. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. He wants to throw. With the catch, it's Graves. Put it right on him. Sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. They'll go to the ground. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making their situation really good on the next game. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. He's looking to throw. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. On the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So loud it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. From the gun. Wants to pass. Makes the grab. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Cornhusker. An impressive, long, methodical, meticulous drive ends in points. They just matriculated the ball down the field, didn't they, Reese? So impressive. Didn't see a lot of explosive plays, but how about the execution? Running and throwing the football. Wow. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. 
And he's going to bring it out. And the returner will be dragged down. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points there, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. And the Sooners racing to the line in the hurry-up. And that's a first down. They'll throw it on first down. Gets it out quickly. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. After that completion, move the sticks, it's first down. It's a really nice throw. It's so impressive watching this Oklahoma passing attack now. You think back to Bob Stoops taking over as head coach in 1999 and bringing with him. And that ball is picked off. Takes it the other way. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sends it the other way. What a big game-changing play. I love when you see defensive players they jump on the ball like they were the offensive guy so aggressive going and getting that pick creating some big mojo for your team and here comes the nebraska offense back onto the field you want to talk about a drive where you impose your will that's what they did running it down for a touchdown david there is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense. To be physically pounded, the run is coming, you know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano y mano up front, and your guys getting a push. They know you're running it, and they still can't stop it. Tackled there by the defense. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? From the gun, wants to pass. What a grab by the defense. Going the other way, and he's got room. And he showed off the wheels after using the hands on the pick, and he gets it down to the 34-yard line. About the only good thing that happened for the offense on that play, at least it wasn't a pick six. What a return. Yeah, that didn't look good for the offense. You know all those big fellas, those old linemen, they're not going to be able to go make the play. So as the DB getting the interception, you know if you can break that play and you can get past that level, it might, it might be to the house. It might be to the crib. Lucky that wasn't a pick six if you're on offense. Give to the back. Tackle is made at the 30-yard line after he picked up four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Coming after it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. That defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive lineman to block. He's got athleticism. He's got length. He's got flexibility. He put it all on display on that sack. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Going to take a shot. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. The Sooners will bring the punt team onto the field. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. The punt goes out of bounds, and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. And the quarterback goes down all the way back in his four-yard line. Yeah, that's a great job. And listen, this quarterback's had success. He's already thrown for two touchdowns. We've got to make him feel uncomfortable. This is still early in the game. Nice job by the defense getting a hit on the quarterback and making him think of it. They've got them then deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. 
Offensive coordinators don't really have play sheets for 30 to 75. Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but when you put yourself in a bad situation, backed up like this, you know, with mistakes and, and negative plays, not many plays in the playbook you can call. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. They're going to throw it to start the drive. He's got the tight end. The Sooners hit it quickly to the line. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. And he's not down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. Now from the 48-yard line, it's first and 10. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding it's blitz. And not just that it's blitz, but knowing whether it's man coverage or zone coverage behind the blitz. You've still got to know where your answer is going to be based on what the defense is doing in the back end. And he had the answer to the test right there. Coming out on first down with the play fade. Quarterback can't pull the trigger and down he goes at the 41. Well, it's been a little bit of a seesaw here the last two plays. Offense gets a chunk play, and then the defense gets a sack. Great job by the defense there, turning the page and coming up with the big one. First down sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. Looking to pass on second down. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. In that third and long situation, you'd like to see your quarterback have a plan. You know that they may dial up the blitz, so you've got to know where your answers are. Where's your hot route? Where's your sight adjust? Where can you get rid of the football if they bring an extra guy and the offense didn't look like they were ready for it? And the Sooners decide to punt it away. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. They'll line up for a second down play. The play action fake. Pocket starts to collapse. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. And I'm putting that one in my back pocket. I'm going to start. I'm going to highlight it. That blitz came home. We are going to need that down the road, and I'll be ready to call that one. Cornhuskers will call on their punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. And off from the shotgun. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. The Sooners are in the hurry up. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They're bringing heat. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. The Sooners will try to pin them back with the punt. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Line gets set, first down. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Finds his big tight end. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. 
Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And the explosive play, they're on the move all the way to the 44. We've reached a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Quick completion on the out. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and media. They want to just keep throwing it. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Setting up the screen. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. The Huskers have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. Fires into traffic. Picked off. A return there would have just been icing on the cake. They'll just have to settle for the cake at the 23. Zone equals eyes. When I say that, DBs, linebackers, all covering the middle of the field. So many guys over the middle of the field trying to take away the easy stuff, but reading the quarterback's eyes the whole time. Whenever he breaks to throw that football and that hand separates from the ball, I'm breaking on it. You could tell they had a lead on it. Nice cut, nice instincts. Give me that INT. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Makes the grab. It's Charles. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. On second down, wants to throw. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. And you've already sent your punter out four times. At least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter. And his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. This time it's complete. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. He's looking to throw it. Dances away to buy time. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Gonna let it fly. He's got it at the 20. Touchdown, Oklahoma! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. We trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. Ready to try the point after. Hit that one with some aggression for the point out. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Michigan is currently up big right now in a game they'll be talking about in Ann Arbor for a long time. They're up by 21 over the Sharks. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. He has been terrorizing quarterbacks all year long. That now is 10th sack of the season. He's got speed. He's got power. He's going to play on Sundays. And he is not cooperating with this offense's game plan. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the pass. Looking to throw on second down. Complete to the left. And the defense drags him down. One more snap coming before juice boxes and orange slices. Leaves it with the running back. They make the stop and that is the end of the first half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. 
He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here come the Sooners, ready to go on offense. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for them? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do we're just going to do it better but then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense we're going to find out here and the Sooners will hustle to the line from the gun the ground game a strong tackle and wrap up from the junior the offense in hurry up mode in the gun and looking to throw on third down He's got his man. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot, the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field. You saw that right there. to fire on second down working that left side now and he runs through one tackle and picks up a few now on third down for this offense to the ground to try to pick up the first and this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground he was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first from the gun leaves it on the inside with the back and he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Charles. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath Shotgun snap, wants to throw it on third. Quickly complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football. The Sooners with the first and ten. Assault continues. He makes a grab. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. Defense going all in to stop the run. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Touchdown sooner. They take the lead with the six. And what a nice play call and nice execution. Play action. You're thinking run. Quarterback pulls it out throws the football right behind those guys and gets the touchdown. Yeah, it was a nice job there by the quarterback, too, on the ball handler. Just throws the defense just long enough to help those wide receivers and targets get some separation in the end zone, and at that point, it was just an easy catch. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Toss to the left. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. Got three on first down at second and seven. Off the play fake. Finds his tight end. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. They go to the ground. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. 
After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Going to run it. It's Maldonado. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Now, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. And the Huskers will move the sticks with the first down. This drive's been productive so far. Already picked up a couple of first downs, now out close to midfield. Looking to go up top on first down. Grabbed behind the line. It's Maldonado. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Short completion last play. Let's see if they throw it again. Keeps it on the bootleg. Just a short pass to the tight end. And that is good versatility there. And a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Caught close to the marker. It's Graves. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. Tune in to the Ocho. Eighth play of the drive coming up. Unloads it downfield. It's complete. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Husker. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. you got to find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. Lining up to add another. And they did make the extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the third. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Let's see what they've got on second down. The inside handoff. Plows through the defense. They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line. Pick up a four. They'll go right back to the run. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. The Sooners will punt it away on fourth down. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Slips through the line. A little pressure on the coverage team there, and they'll stop him at the 47-yard line. The offense set for a first down play. On the ground, it's Maldonado. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Lost five on that first play, and now it's second and 15. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Off the play fake on first down, the throw. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers and he couldn't hold on. He wants to throw it again. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Right down the middle. Makes a connection. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. From the red zone, it's Maldonado. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Now facing some adversity on this drive after the loss of four. It's second and 14. Off the bootleg. Wants to throw it. Fires to the middle. Right through his hands and incomplete. And he'll want that one back. It'll be third down. This crowd knows when to bring it. And it's picked off for the third time today. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. 
He looked as if he thought he had it all the way, and this junior makes a play. The turnover margin always goes such a long way in deciding who wins the football game. Interception number three, that is no way. No, got to take care of the football. Can't keep putting your defense in a bad position, putting them on the field time and time again. The Sooner offense returns to the field. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. Might as well stick with him. Tackle is made after the first down. And the Sooners moving quickly to the line. He'll pull it on the read. At the 45 on his way. Quarterback gets him up. Racing to the right. Touchdown Oklahoma. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. This is a play this offense reps over and over and over again in practice. And this quarterback always makes the right decision. He always knows when he needs to keep the football. And then when he does, with his speed and athleticism, he is a problem. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it a 28-21 score. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And he knows how to finish in style. A 66-yarder to the house. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The run from the shotgun. And they get him on the ground, and that'll probably do it for the third quarter. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. He's looking for an open man on second down. Using the quick game. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He's got it on the left. Open runway ahead. Touchdown, Nebraska! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. That was just as simple as playing catch and warm-ups. And this offense felt like they could take advantage of this defense down the field, throwing the football. They've got a lot of speed on the perimeter. And I feel like they've got some matchups they feel they should be winning one-on-one. -on -one. We saw a great example of it right there. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Jacksonville State sure is making it look easy today. What a spectacular performance on the offensive side of the ball. They're up by 17 over Boston College. Trying to find his man on first down. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Sooners want to move quickly. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Working on the right. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. They'll throw it on first down. Took a shot as he threw. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. 
fired. On the last play, they'll go back to the air. It's caught downfield. The expressway is wide open. Touchdown sooner. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. And another passing touchdown for this Sooner quarterback. He keeps this up, and he might wind up in that 100-touchdown club with Baker Mayfield and Landry Jones. So many good guys that had good days. How about this day? I mean, fitting the ball all over the yard, just padding the stats. And you start mentioning guys like Jones, and you start mentioning guys like Baker Mayfield, that's Sooner pristine legacy there. The AT unit on the field. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Zings it complete to the right. And that's why you do explosive work in the weight room. Arm day's a good thing as he gets it to the 23. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. The Cornhuskers get it past the sticks. Now on first and 10 from the 26. They'll test the right side. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Fires to the big fella. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. From the gun, wants to pass. Had it right in his hands in the middle of the field, and it trickled to the ground. It'll be fourth down. The Huskers will punt this one away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. They'll leave it with him. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. The Sooners in the hurry up. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? This offense absolutely humming as they come to the line again. play action on first down he'll pull it down at the 40 there he goes and he gets out of there and gets some yards and gets down without taking any punishment this guy just gives you nightmares i mean he's just got so much electricity he just pulls it down and chews up yards like it's nothing that's a quarterback a quarterback doing that to your defense makes the grab and he's brought down after a nice game and the Sooners have it with a first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And they take it in for six more points. They tack a little more onto this lead, and they're on their way to a 3-0 start. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way home. I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead up 14 in the fourth. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. From the gun, running back on the move. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. This offense has a second down play. Running back searching for a hole. 
Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking for space, it's Maldonado. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Try to get it to the edge. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. Offense gets set for second down. Now they'll run the draw. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Makes a grab enough for the first. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And the Huskers are marching down the field. Going up top on first down. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. And that is exactly how you draw it up. You get to the quarterback, but you get the football. You hit him, you try to rake it out. Great job by the defense. Get the sack, get the fumble. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. He'll keep it himself. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. The Sooners want to pick up the tempo. On second down, they'll take to the air. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. From the gun, wants to pass. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. Between the uprights, it's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. Give the defense a ton of credit in this sudden change situation. Their offense just coughed it up. And this defense comes out, they go three and out and force a field goal. That's a win if you're on defense. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. It's complete. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. They really got things moving on this drive. Second play of the drive comes from the 37. Makes the grab over the middle. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Here comes the offense on first and ten from the 47. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. Slicing and dicing through this defense, and they've got it down to the 23. The Cornhuskers getting set on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Working that left side. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. He'll set up to throw. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. They'll give it another shot on second and goal from the four. Back to the air one more time. And the quarterback is knocked down back in the 13. 
third and goal from way back there. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. A field goal really doesn't do much for you in this situation, so they'll go for it on fourth and goal. He wants it all. To the end zone, and it's picked off. Man, I've been there. This is one of those games you just want to forget right away and turn the page. Four picks now thrown by this guy, and you're just not able to make your reads. Things aren't clicking. You're not seeing the field, and the ball's not coming out right. Next week cannot come soon enough for him, I can tell you that. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. The handoff keep working on that clock. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. The Sooners come to the line in the hurry-up. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff that teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game. You want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. From the gun to give, looking for room. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. To the ground to try to move the chains. And the Sooners get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And uh, first down for the offense. Leaves it with the back. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. You know what's great about rivalry games? Each side hates every wretched breath the other one sucks into their greedy lungs. Figuratively speaking, of course, and when you win, oh, oh, oh is that sweet. It's glorious. To, to be able to brag, to be able to text message your buddies, to be able to post stuff on social media, it's a lot of fun. I think fans like it more than anybody, but it's something that you, every year you have a couple games starred. This was one of them, Jesse. They took care of business, and now you move on to the next they really did. We saw some great individual efforts in this game by the winning team, too. So cool to see some of these players that have had terrific collegiate careers make some of the biggest plays of their lives in this game, in a rivalry game that just means so much. This was a fun one to call. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, Dave Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.